Coming up on today's episode of Airport Unmanned. Parrot introduces end-to-end drone solution for efficient crop assessment. Kratos opens new UAS production facility in Oklahoma City. And Precision Hawk expands network of UAS pilots through acquisition of Uplift Data Partners. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. European drone group Parrot has introduced bluegrass fields, an end-to-end agricultural drone solution which provides farmers, agronomists, and researchers with the insights they need to boost the quality of their crops and maximize yields. Parrot Bluegrass Fields brings together the Parrot Bluegrass Drone with the all-new Parrot Fields mobile mapping app and PICS 4D Fields desktop and cloud-based drone mapping software. The Parrot Bluegrass Agriculture Drone features a robust carbon fiber structure a flight time of up to 25 minutes, flight coverage of up to 160 acres per flight at 400 feet, and a backpack for easy transportation. Its vertical takeoff and landing ensure efficient operations, even in confined areas. The multispectral Parrot Sequoia sensor and a 14 megapixel front RGB camera allows the vehicle to shoot both pictures and videos in Full HD. Paired Bluegrass Fields features one-year access to the all-new Paired Fields mobile mapping app that simplifies the entire infield workflow. In addition to the Paired Fields mobile mapping app, Paired Bluegrass Fields includes one full year of access to PIX4D Fields desktop and cloud software. Parrot Bluegrass Fields is available for pre-sale immediately via official Parrot Business Solutions distribution partners. Shipping will begin at the end of November. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Ambry Riddle Aeronautical University this month became the first academic institution to receive the Trusted Operator Program certification from AUVSI. The brand new Trusted Operator Program was designed to maximize safety, reliability, and professionalism in the commercial use of UAS by coordinating the most important applicable standards. Such standards include federal aviation regulations, local and state protocols, and consensus-based industry standards. AeroVironment has been awarded a $3,228,856 firm fixed price contract from the DOD to provide our Q20B Puma AE2 small UAS training and support to an allied nation in the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command Area of Responsibility. Delivery is anticipated by March 30, 2019. The vast diverse landscape of the Indo-PACOM area of operation demands small unmanned aircraft systems that can support ground, river Rhine, and maritime operations effectively, said Kirk Flitty, Vice President and General Manager of Air Environments, Unmanned Aircraft Systems Business. A state-of-the-art competition at the University of South Florida is bridging the gap between mind and machine. The 2019 USF Brain Drone Race, scheduled for February 9th at the Yingling Center, will feature teams from around the world as they race drones using brain power. USF Assistant Professor Marvin Andujar is organizing the event and led the group that started the competition in 2016. Andujar says the 2019 event will be the world's first international competition of brain drone racers. Realmatech has introduced its direct broadcast platform, which the company says meets any future regulatory requirements for UAS to broadcast their position and unique ID 
without relying on a communications network to carry that data. Using Wi-Fi-based technology, the Direct Broadcast Platform creates a unique beacon on the UAS. Realmatech also points out that a prototype version of the Direct Broadcast Platform has been demonstrated to key individuals within the FAA UAS Integration Office and NASA UTM Research and Development Program. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Kratos Defense and Security Solutions Incorporated recently cut the ribbon on its new 100,000 square foot UAS production facility in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. The new facility will be used to accommodate existing and expected increased demand for its newest line of high performance, jet powered unmanned aerial tactical and target UAS. Grado says that over the next five years, it plans to hire at least 350 employees in Oklahoma. Grado says that these employees will fill the high-skilled engineering, design, and manufacturing functions that will be needed to support the production contracts for these aircraft. The people of Oklahoma represent a highly patriotic, educated, and motivated workforce with the technical skills that will contribute to building the affordable, but technology leading weapon systems needed for tomorrow's world, says Eric DeMarco, president and CEO of Kratos Defense and Security Solutions. We cannot be happier to be joining this cost effective business environment and family friendly community. Oklahoma Governor Mary Fallon echoes those sentiments, saying, We are excited to have Kratos start operations here in Oklahoma City. The company is an excellent addition to our state's prominent aerospace industry and will help this industry continue to advance. Precision Hawk Incorporated has purchased Uplift Data Partners. Uplift's network of commercial UAS pilots will join Precision Hawk's Droners IO network of UAS pilots, which currently stands at more than 15,000. As part of the acquisition, Uplift CEO Suzanne L. Morrissey will join Precision Hawk's executive leadership team as she manages the company's construction line of business. Uplift Data Partners was formed in 2015 as a fully integrated subsidiary of Clayco, which is one of the largest architecture, engineering, design, build, and construction firms in the nation. Through the acquisition, Clayco will not only exclusively source its construction projects to Precision Hawk, but it will also serve on Precision Hawk's Board of Advisors to support the growth of the company's services and software in the construction industry. It has been a busy year for Precision Hawk in terms of acquisition, as the company also acquired Droners IO and Airvid earlier this year. And just a few months ago, Precision Hawk purchased both Hazon Incorporated and Inspectools Incorporated each of which specialize in delivering inspection services and technology for the energy industry. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our Airport Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.